Greek tragedy on the FBS. Now, Dan, mate, what's your favourite song of yours to play live? Your favourite song to play live? I mean, at the moment, it would have to be a new song, so I'm going to say Ready for the Heart. It's just such a fun like, rock riff to kick off with and see the mosh bit going. And, and also our tour manager comes on dressed as a wombat and, and plays the, uh, the trumpets <laughs> to the brass section and he keeps surprising us every night with a different routine so that's kind of a highlight. Right, because you guys did this, I swear, back at Reading and Leeds in 2019. Is this a regular thing, the wombats, the literal wombats making the parents on the stage? Yeah, it's, it started like in Australia, I think, and also for the craft of the crowd, like it's just kind of doesn't, you know, we don't really take ourselves seriously, well we do take our music seriously, but you know, on stage it's really nice to just have something that's just fun and stupid and like, everyone just dances around and it kind of lifts the energy of the crowd. Manager and our friends and family are trying to dress up for three minutes, so yeah, it's, um, it's kind of a feature of the show at the moment. Stand inside your love. Well, let's get into Dan's favourite song to play live to start. We'll play Ready for the High and then Smashing Pumpkins with Stand Inside Your Love. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to pass on? Just thanks so much for your support and everything you do. It can't be easy. I hope our music helps in some way. And yeah, keep, keep doing what you're doing. And uh, we hope to see you at a show sometime in the future. This is BFBs, the Forces Station. Ben Coley meets Dan Haggis from the Wombats. Original music specials. On air, online, on the app, on FM, and DAB Plus throughout the UK. This is BSBS. BSBS. The Forces Station. The governor of the western Ukrainian city of Lviv has urged people to remain in their shelters after five missile strikes. <clears throat> I'm sorry, killed at least seven people. Russia says it's hit around targets across Ukraine. Andrea Moskalenko asked for Boris Johnson to help bring them home. It's not clear if they were speaking okay. under Ju An unidentified interviewer, they asked to be swapped for a pro-Russian politician, Viktor Medvedchuk. The close ally of Vladimir Putin is currently being held by Ukraine authorities. In a statement, military for many people before they were captured. Boris Johnson is expected to make a statement in the House of Commons tomorrow to defend his leadership and to insist to MPs there are bigger issues than the party gate saga. on Downing Street has dismissed reports that the in addition to the gathering he's already been fined for. Shops and restaurants in Scotland are welcoming people in with a smile after the legal requirement to wear a face mask was lifted. The Scottish government still advising their use there part of the protections that three of the invictus is Mark has won gold 200 meters his team Phillips took also raced in the 1500 meters yesterday with Dan taking silver and Mark coming in third and Sally Renard has won gold for Team UK in the women's IT7 1500 meters that's the latest I'm Tasting Siddiqui British artists, all British belters. This is BFBS Best of British Easter Weekend. <laughs> 